radial timbers technology which, which is developed in Gippsland uh, basically takes very small diameter hardwood saw logs and cuts them up like a cake basically or a pizza. It cuts them up into wedges and then cuts those wedges into boards. We work with the growth stresses in the wood and that gives us a much better recovery and a much more stable product. 20 years ago we started off with a, a prototype plant, very labour intensive, very uh, low in productivity and over the years we kept refining that and developing that and then had the idea if we're ever going to move forward we've got to go into a Greenfields fully commercial plant. Our early introductions to Gibson we talked concepts and ideas and we wanted to get someone in Australia to produce the equipment and develop the technology that we already had and the IP we had. We knew straight away we were onto a winner there because they took it in their stride and came back and, and got the brief really well and really came together well. One of the important things about a modern mill is the infeed and the outfeed. But having automatic infeed you know, that actually comes to the centrepiece of the radial technology, the rail saw, so most rail saws are set up where the log is pretty stationary. Ours, the log is dogged and a saw runs along the log. As each cut's done, the log rotates. So we work with the geometry of the, of the log. So we're working with 45 degree segments. So we do eight cuts per log. The machinery is doing most of the work in, in moving that log around and maximizing what you can get from it. The wedges go from the log saw to a transfer deck and then the resaw. That's what cuts that wedge into a number of boards. You've got eight wedges, up to five or six boards out of each wedge, so you've got 35 long pieces of timber coming out of every small log. You know, if it's a six metre log, most of them are six metres long. Why it was so important is that we could see the piece size coming from native forest was getting smaller and the volumes were getting less. So at the same time we actually invested in this technology, we also invested in plantation establishments. So we've got a thousand hectares of plantations that have been planted over the last 20 years and we've got a thousand hectares more to go. And one thing about uh, the radial technology, it is ideally suited to plantation timber because in plantation timber you can grow a tree to a certain size, a certain height, uh, and then the radial process is like a sausage factory. You know exactly what you're going to get out of every piece of timber. So the more uh, uniform the product is, the, the higher the recovery, the less waste and the more profitability there is in it.